It was quite funny. Uh, I called, I told him, he was walking on the bus. I said, Tyler, man, what, what school do you want to go to? He's like, man, I just want to play. I'm like, oh, that's what's up. So I called my own, one of my coach at the time. I said, hey, coach, uh, you looking for a quarterback? Uh, nah, uh, he ain't say nothing. He said, why? Wow. I said, uh, stand by Taj Boyd here. Yeah, so he said, let me call you back. I get about a minute or so, <laughs> I get a phone call back, and that's all he wrote, man. Taj down here um, for Clemson. I ain't get my phone back until at least 30, 40 minutes, because they were on the phone for, um, for a while just talking and stuff. So it's from, from that from that experience to now, man, it really, it, me and Taj have really grown for brotherhood, man. It's, it's, it's good to see me and him go together. Probably so, honestly, because um, I had no really necessarily interest in Clemson. But you know, getting a chance to meet him and talk to him, you know, he was kind of pushing Clemson, called the coaches while I was there, I mean, just threw me on the phone. I'm like, no, I don't know, you know, I didn't know anybody at the time, any of the coaching staff. But you know, he's been a great friend. Uh, and just talking about Roger in general, I haven't seen a, I haven't been around a, a more patient person or a better person in general. That guy is the most caring and you know charismatic guy that I know. Uh, you know, he's a definition of perseverance. You know, this guy's. Army All-American could have went to any school. You're sitting there, you're talking to him, and he waited for, you know what, four years to get the opportunity to start for his university. And everything that he's done this season has been impressive. You know, the way he carried himself on and off the field. And I, I just couldn't be more proud of a guy. And, you know, looking at what he's dealt with, you know, debating about transferring, debating about this and that. Because he can play anywhere in, this, in college football, I believe. I think he is one of the the best backs in the country. You know, nobody really knows about him yet because you know he's only been a one year starter, but I think you know this is another opportunity for him to be in the room. I wanted to go somewhere where I had the opportunity to play the earliest and where I had opportunity to grow in every aspect of my life. Um, not just as a football player, but as a person, spiritually, everything of that nature. And I mean, I felt like I would have got that at Ohio State, but you know, just the relationships that I have built with some of the players there and you know, how warm the reception was when I got there it was just it was just something else. So um, it was. Uh, I can definitely feel like it was, it was heaven sent up, you know, because I don't think there's been a better place for me to kind of shape who I am. And you know, regardless of how far or how long I play in that, you know, in the NFL or whatever, I feel like Clemson will always be home. I always have a place to go back, and I feel like I can do anything in the world, honestly, because I feel like the way that. You know, Clemson helped me learn how to present myself and communicate with people. I feel like it takes you a long way. Major, major, 